How do you make breeding decisions in your beef cattle operation? What do you look for when you're choosing a bull? And how do you use all of the available data to make the best breeding decision? Whether you're at a bull sale or flipping through a catalog of AI sires, one of the most useful tools you have at your disposal are EPDs. EPD stands for Expected Progeny Difference. If we use these bulls on the same cows in the same environment, what differences could we expect, on average, between the progeny, their calves? EPDs are more reliable than a bull's actual weights or contemporary group ratio because they remove all the variation due to environment or management and focus exclusively on what a bull can pass on to his progeny. Let's say we have two bulls. Bull A has a weaning weight EPD of 30 pounds and bull B has a weaning weight EPD of 50 pounds. That means that if both bulls were mated to the same group of cows in the same environment, we'd expect on average the weaning weight to be about 20 pounds higher for calves from bull B. Remember, we're talking about averages and not individual calves. There will still be some variation among calves. Some of the calves from bull A will have heavier weaning weights than some of the calves from bull B. However, by using weaning weight EPDs, we can effectively move the average of the group. Sometimes EPDs are hard to interpret on their own, especially if you're not familiar with the scale, the units, or breed averages. Remember, EPD distributions differ from breed to breed. A weaning weight EPD of 70 in Angus is not equivalent to a weaning weight EPD of 70 in Charlay. Here's a tip to make it simpler. Regardless of the breed, focus on where that EPD value ranks on a percentile basis. This lets us understand where the bull ranks for an EPD compared to all the other members of his breed. For example, currently, if an Angus bull has a weaning weight EPD of 74 from the Angus Association, he'd be in the fifth percentile for the entire Angus breed. That means that he's in the top 5% of all Angus bulls for weaning weight. So obviously weaning weight isn't the only trait that we're interested in selecting in. Breed associations publish dozens of different EPDs, from maternal traits like heifer pregnancy and longevity of daughters, to things like growth and carcass traits for more terminal animals. But with so many EPDs and so many numbers, how do we do a good job of selecting on multiple traits at once to maximize profit in our herds? In the future, we'll talk about how economic selection indexes are a powerful tool for making selection decisions in commercial cattle herds.